All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are getting ready to head out and do a little bit of pier fishing tomorrow. Some of y'all have seen where we posted that my boat is for sale over at Momentum Marine. Yes, we got a new boat. <laughs> and so I only had one chance to take it out. It has been like super windy ever since I got it. But uh, looks like we got some better weather coming up. We're gonna have some pretty awesome videos coming out on the new Key West. So y'all make sure to be subscribed and look forward to those videos. But we're gonna head on out to the pier tomorrow morning with Kelton and with Jonathan from the tackle store and uh, see what all we can get into, trying to catch something to do a little catch and cook. If you have not already signed up for our surf fishing tournament, make sure you go do so. I'll have it linked down below. First place Pompano is gonna be $5,000. So you don't wanna miss out on this fall tournament running from October 13th through November 30th, or is it 31st? Whatever the last day of November is, but uh, check it out, link down below, but I'll catch y'all at the pier. All right, y'all, we're gonna start the morning off with a bull minnow here. Hook him up through his lips. And we are just gonna fish right down the wall of this pier here. It's not super deep. Gonna let this minnow kind of hang out. You can actually kind of walk down the wall a little bit. If you're throwing a lure, you can throw it out and just work down the wall. But when you got a live bait, I'll just kind of let it swim out here for a minute, maybe work down a few feet. Because we're going for these flounder. These flounder like to sit and then they ambush. So they're, they're not going to move too much. They want that bait to get pretty close to them. So uh, you may have to work your way down the wall a little bit till you find these fish. We got Kelton and Jonathan fishing that side of the pier over there. You hung up? No. no? You sure you're not hung up? I said I'm hung up. I said, are you hung up? You said no. What? I have one, but he just swam in. Don't Fish got you in there? Don't break it. We're going to have to break it, dude. There we go. There we go. There's something. First fish of the day. Hey, Kelton. Little baby mangrove snapper, not the target species. What? what little mangrove. Oh, that's a tiny one. I know, he's a little baby. Hey. Little baby like you. Wait. Did you keep that bait? Was that the bait that you caught it on? Yep. Yeah. But we're going to get a fresh one. On. This bait ain't going to catch us another fish. It's a little dead. You got a fish? Nice. Is it a fish or no? <laughs> Retying Kelton's rig here and he caught a mangrove on my rod. Good oh, catch, buddy. The bait's still alive. How? Is that a keeper? No. Uh, Little booty mangrove. Maybe, maybe. Alright, another baby mangrove going back. <clears throat> there we go. There's something. Oh, just came off. Another little, <clears throat> another little mangrove. Looks like my bait's still on there alive, so we'll drop them back down. Let's see if we can catch some keepers. Been a minute since we've done a catch and cook. Kelton wants some more fish. How you doing? I appreciate it, man. What's your name? All the time. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, where are you from? Uh, North Alabama. Nice. Yeah, toward Aniston. Might have something on there. There we go. There he is. Little baby. <laughs> Not quite the size we're after. Uh uh. I just felt a, a little thump it. That is a target species, but nowhere near a keeper. Really cool fish, pretty fish. I'm gonna send them back. What you got? Another pinfish. Two pinfish and one mangrove. I caught one fish on there and two fish on here. And that was just on a piece of shrimp. I'm going to call you the pinfish killer. Oh, pinfish killer. Can we keep them? Nah. Oh, I we'll throw them back. Like, um, I four? Yeah. That's a big one. Hey, Jonathan. I got four. Oh, my God. Oh. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, boys. Yeah. No, Freddy. 
How many fish are you gonna catch on the same bait? Probably 20. 20? With the same little piece of shrimp? Yeah. All right, let's see. That almost looks like a Beach Bum Outdoor shirt out there on the rocks. That's one idiot? Yeah. Oh, dang. Hey, Dad, can I catch him if you get him? There he is. There he is. Oh! That, that was close. That was a good flounder. Bring that thing up here, boy. Okay. Ew. I, I re-caught him. <laughs> I re-caught the fish. Yeah, that's a little croaker, not a trout. Yeah, probably why it's croaking. Croaker croaking. Calvin, look at that big ship. What? Look at that big ship. What? The big ship. Where? What do you mean, where? The big ship? The only big ship out there. I thought it was like on land. <laughs> we got something? We got something? That feels like a flounder. Oh, it's a flounder. I hope he's hooked good. Kelton, look. Ah! <sighs> yep. Had him right here coming to flip him and spit the hook. He was probably short, but he was decent. I mean, he's probably 12, 13. There we go. What, you wanna catch this one? Yeah. Here. What is it? You get him. Oh, what is it? I don't know. Really didn't see. Oh, flip him, flip him, flip him, flip him. Get him over, dude. <laughs> what are you doing? I know. He's probably gonna be short still. He'd probably keep if we we're in Florida, but a little bit longer than my foot. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna be a little short. short. Yeah. About nine. Yeah. You on? Get him. Oh, it's a flounder. Flounder! That's your first one. That's the first one. You've been wanting to catch one. Yeah. Heck yeah, dude. That is awesome. No, he's too small. All right, we gotta get your picture with him. Nice, All right, tell the camera, first flounder. I got my first flounder. That's awesome, all right, we got throw him back. He's too small. Dude. I, I was just moving my rod. That is awesome, man. Wow. I might try Congratulations, to, Kelton. I might try to catch that all right, well that makes it worth it, coming out here getting Kelton his first flounder. <clears throat> oh, 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 oh. oh. I got one. Oh, oh, I want to get him. I want to get him. I got, get him. I got him. I got him. Another little guy. Back. See you, buddy. Lots of little flounder out here today. Yeah. One of the ones I hooked earlier looked like a keeper, though. One of the ones I pulled the hook on. All right, another bull minute here. Deployed. We need us a keeper. Kelton's never eaten flounder either. Actually, I think you've had flounder. Yeah, I have. We cooked flounder one time in the oven. Kelton, the place we're gonna go after this has a flounder hatchery program, which means they raise baby flounder and then let them out into the water. So we're gonna go see like little baby flounder. Will we get to hold one? I don't know. They do the same thing with pompano. Oh, I think I'm on. I think I'm on. Oh, can I get on this? Got him. Oh, that was a flounder. Did you see him? Yeah, pitch right there, right there. Kelton's wearing out the pinfish over here. The old pinfish master. Having fun, bud? Is there another piece of shrimp down there? Yep. Is it a tail? Yep. Here. Are we gonna see like eggs there? Maybe. Uh oh. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, that was a mangrove. Looked like a decent one too. All right, let's see what you can catch here, bud. Oh, he got ya. Hey, I got a bait in the water right now. Go get you a piece of shrimp. Oh, I'm getting eight. Can I get him? Can I get him? Yeah. I dropped it, I think. Oh, we're on, we're on, we're on. Oh, Kelton. 
Redfish. I got a red. No, he's gonna be short. So here they have to be between 16 and 26 inches to keep. He's probably only about 12 or 13. Do I have sharp teeth? No, you can lip him. Whoa. You wanna throw him back in? Oh my God. Let him go. Let him go and let him grow. Yeah! Nice, buddy. All right, there you go. All right, Kelton, we only got a few more minutes. See if you can get you another fish here. You on? Oh, oh. What is him? Oh my god. Dang, he's fighting hard. Flip him. Nice mangrove. He's still gonna be a little short. No. If he's bigger than my foot, is it a keeper? No, you got little feet. Lots of small fish out here today. All right, one more and then we gotta go. All right, last shrimp. What are you gonna do with it? All right, guys, we have made it to Alabama Marine Resources and they have a hatchery here in Gulf Shores and they have pompano, flounder, and trout. And so they will breed these fish. They'll bring in some big females and males and uh, they'll spawn them out here. They will get the eggs going, all the stuff and raise these fish up into little hatchlings and then go release them. Last year, I believe they released 140,000 pompano back into the Gulf. I don't know exact numbers on the flounder and trout, but we're gonna go head on inside, check everything out, and uh, get us a little tour of the place. Hope y'all enjoy this. This is a fish that's about to be retired. So she's a female that's gone through her breeding cycle and she'll do something with her so what is the biggest pompano? Have y'all weighed them? Do you know yeah, like what's the biggest you've had? Three kilo pompano. It was like 3.01 kilos. Which was what is it? I don't know. I have no idea. 6.4. Okay. So that's still not even the state record. No. no. I don't know if you're like growing some 10 pound pompano up in here but or something. It's how quickly they, all the fish that we bring in, we don't bring in very big pompano. Most of them are under a pound. Like everything right. Everything that we bring in here is under a pound. Right. That is a big flounder. I wonder if they'll let you fish here, Kelton. <laughs> I don't think they'll let you do that. It's a really cool thing they got going on here. Yeah, that's a giant one over there. More? Just hanging out. These are their holding tanks. They also use these when they get some new flounder in. They put them in here. That way, if they have any uh, parasites or anything, they can kind of clean up before they mix them with the rest of their the fish they have here. What do you think, dude? It's pretty cool, huh? You think it's cool? You want to go see some baby fish? And then uh, trout and red drum are spring and fall spawners. So we kind of rotate and keep natural cycles to make all these guys do. These are all the juvenile pompano that have been ready to be released. Thanks. Y'all release them this small. Yeah, so I was, a lot of people are surprised by that, but the, the logistics and the handling and the investment that it takes to get them bigger. Right. So these guys at this size, this is, this is about as big as I would want them in this tank. That they, they start creating a lot of waste and it's a lot of management. So we come, would have come. to have come. bigger vessels and bigger culture space and we would have to have more facilities. And then to hold on to them takes more of our time, right. the food costs money, and there's always a risk that they die. You know, a pump goes out, you have a power outage, a hurricane, something goes wrong, so the longer you hold them, the more risk you have. Right. The longer you hold them, hold them the more financial uh, you know, investment Absolutely. you put in. Stuff like that. So Makes for sense. Us, there's a study that this is the best bang for your buck. Will more of these die than a six inch fish or an eight inch fish? Of course. But, a lot of these will still survive, yeah. and our input is less. Yeah. And there's always the argument too that if you keep a fish in the system for eight months and they have never had to forage for a, for a hunt, they might lose some of that instinct right. as opposed to here they're going to, you know, reacclimate very quickly. We, that makes sense. We've seen that. So then here in these tanks is where they have all these pompano that they're getting ready to go release. So today they're going to be releasing 30 to 35,000 pompano back into the gold, which is really cool. And then this whole room here, they said they have roughly 80,000. I believe last year, that looks like a little trout there. I 
think last year they said they released like 140,000 Pompano's. And so through our tournament that we're doing this year, we're going to try to partner with them. They need some more live Pompano to help them be able to keep doing this. And so we're going to try to help get them some Pompano. We're going to have more details to come on that as we work out some deals with them. And uh, so y'all stay tuned for all that. But we're going to come out to more of this facility. Kelton is homeschooled now, so coming here and doing something like this is really cool. Not something you would normally get to see at public school. There's like some little babies in here. In a minute, buddy. Instinctively, they will not eat anything. That we, that's like a, a manufactured food. So we grow this food as an appropriate first feed because it, number one, is something that they're attracted to because it moves and it has a nutritional value and it is small enough for them to physically fit it inside their mouth. Oh, dang. That is cool. I wonder if the camera will pick that up. Yeah, you can usually line it up just right to get it. Close. It's just like seeing the, the light. You wanna look in, buddy? Put your eyes up to it, you'll see the, you gotta move around just right. Do you see the bugs moving around? Try to move around your eyes and try to get it just right. See anything? Yeah? That's cool, huh? That's what they feed the fish. And so y'all do the, y'all feed all the, all the, all three species? Everything eats that first, and then we have another bug called Martinia. We don't have anything hatching right now. Um, so, you know, after about 13 or 14 days, then we can wean them. So when we feed the live stuff, then we'll start to throw fish food at the same time. And they recognize that and associate that as food. So then we can stop doing the live feed slowly and start introducing the artificial stuff. And they'll stay on that for about a month until they're about the size. Gotcha. Because eventually they're just, that's too big. We, we can't culture anything to feed those guys. Yeah. We can't. So with your with your bigger fish, like a, a bigger pompano, are you feeding them like shrimp and sand fleas and stuff? All, or? all of our brew stock just get cut shrimp and squid. Okay, cool. We, I guess if we want to go collect sand fleas, we can do that too. <laughs> yeah. And then you just find the nutritional profile of shrimp and squid. And so these two tanks are all those bugs. Yep. There's... It's a lot of bugs. Yeah, it is. A hundred million bugs in the world. A hundred million bugs. And so they create a little slide and hook up a two inch hose with a cam lock and we can roll it down into the water, pull the drain, and then we can shoot it down. Yeah. Nice. What time do you think y'all are doing that at Boggy Point? Uh, we're going to go under the Perdido Pass Bridge. Today. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to go like, right under, you know, there's a big turn around. Under yeah, the yeah. He's gonna run a hose there, down there. Put the trailer in a down slope, hook it in, and just put the hose in and roll it down into the house. Cool. All right, y'all, they're getting ready to load up all these Pompano into their trailer and head on down. So we're gonna leave, we gotta run by the tackle store, and then we're gonna go meet them down at the pass and show y'all how they release all these Pompano out into the wild. Really cool operation they have over here, and I really appreciate them showing us around. Tell them about it, it's really cool. So we'll catch y'all at the release. All right, we made it down here to Perdido Pass. They got all the pompano loaded up in the trailer here. Did you get a final count? Yeah, there's about 30,000 in this load. About 30,000 in here. That is a lot of baby pompano. Oh my. Kelton, how many think make it out the pass? A thousand. A thousand? <laughs> Hopefully there's more than a thousand. Hopefully more than a thousand. <laughs> They're just gonna load up, the, hook up these hoses here run it down to the pass here we got an outgoing tide it is ripping out right now we just tried to fish you can't even hardly keep a bait down so these pompano are going to get ripped out off the beach where they're going to live a nice happy life shoot. they're going to open that valve and they're going to go shooting out the hose that's the hope all right so they're about to open the hatch here 30,000 baby pompano coming out the hose. Yep, I see some coming out now. There they go. Probably not showing up too well on the camera, but pompano are starting to come out. There's a lot of stuff because we're uh, getting closer to low tide out here. It'd be nice if we actually had clean water around here and you yeah. could like see them. 
you can see a couple of little silver uh, yeah. silver bodies coming out there. It was really cool to see this whole process of how they do the hatchery over there at Marine Resources. If you want to support them, support CCA. CCA does a lot for Marine Resources and their hatchery here in Gulf Shores, Alabama. We're also going to be partnering with them and the Pompano Tournament, trying to get them some more Pompano. We will have more details coming up. Did you have a fun day fishing, Kelton? You're not going to talk? You're going to be shy? What do you think? I can't see my candle. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. We'll catch y'all in the next one.